Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm DJ Sixpit. You're watching Sit Down. Talking today to Anna Johnson. She is a runner. She is a nurse at Sloan Kettering. Does a little bit of everything. Anna, it's really nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm doing very well. Thanks for asking. How are so you doing? it's a really exciting weekend because we're finally getting a nice race in New York again. We got the MasterCard Mini 10K coming up. And for somebody who loves to run and you know running is such an important part of your life, how excited are you for this moment coming up this weekend? I am so excited. I am excited. I'm I'm nervous at the same time. It's been a while since I have raced, so I can't wait for this Saturday. When was your last race? I think my last race was um I run oh uh probably like last November for mm -hmm. I run with Trials for Miles at um at the track. I did a 10k. Yeah. But it's not the same, you know. It's no. It's definitely not the same. Real <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this weekend is going to be like? Because I think it's pretty cool that it's just women only competing in this race. That's something that's really special. So what are you most excited about? And also what are you maybe a little bit nervous about too? Yeah, well, this race, uh, I'm excited about lining up with the best female athletes this Saturday competing in the Master Car Mini 10K. Um, this race will be significant for me uh, in two ways. Uh, it's the first regularly scheduled race and it will be just for women uh it's been over a year since the world shut down due to the, pan the pandemic and now thanks to the vaccine the world uh, seems slowly to be returning to normal with the war in mind showcasing women's runners first before men is unusual men's events have always dominated over women's events and for master car mini 10k to promote women's first on behalf of women, it is about time. Um, on an individual level, it is significant for me because I grew up in a male-dominated culture in Mexico. Women never had the authority to make decisions or to have a role in leadership, um, including road races. So it is a privilege to have the Master Mini 10K and for me to be included in this event. That's really beautifully said. And I love that it hits home on a number of different levels. And just for you personally, I, you know, everybody struggled during the past year plus, but for you to be a nurse and to deal with cancer patients at Sloan Kettering, how have you managed this past year plus? Well, working as an oncology nurse at Memorial Sloan Kettering during the pandemic was one of the most challenging events of my career. When the pandemic began, um, it was an evolving situation as we learned to deal with the, with the virus. We had general guides for infection diseases, but most were unknown. Um, as a professional, I went to work and stay focused on my goals, keeping both my patients and myself safe. Um, keeping the focus is not unlike the focus in running a marathon, preparation, assessment, and self-motivation. I was extremely lucky as MSK provided provide many resources of support, guidance, and professional help. I never felt professionally alone during the pandemic. I am very lucky to be there. We at MSK are the best. Um, also like running had a huge impact in my life during the pandemic. I never stopped training and it helped me physically and mentally to get through the day. I gave myself busy participating in the virtual races hosted by Trisome Miles. And it was a lot of fun. We had a cool training group during the pandemic and we just went out and ran. As I mentioned, the New York City running community is one of the greatest for support and motivation. It was a lot of fun. How many different people were in your running group during the pandemic? What was that like for you? Uh, running group, we were probably like 10. Um, we were 10 and we just got together for run, for training, to participate in the races. Um, yeah, yeah, it was just fun. Um, we kept just hanging out and and running. It, it must have been really nice to have that bond and just to have that outlet, right? Because I think everybody comes to running in different ways. Some people do it competitively. Some people do it for an escape. You know, what are your main motivations when you think about what running does for you and, and doing it on a bigger level here? Um, I believe I am competitive and I, I always try to keep uh, training hard because I always wanna to go to the next level. And that's my motivation. I always wanna set my goals and go for it. You go mentioned, it. yeah, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a great way to think about it. You mentioned what you were thinking about before, just in terms of your Mexican roots and you know, just being able to run here in the States. 
What does your family think about the fact that you're competing in this race in New York City and in the Big Apple? Oh, boy, they cannot believe it. I think I'm like, well, you're a celebrity now. <laughs> 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 I mean, my, my parents, they both marathoners, so they're really good runners. Uh, my dad passed away a few years ago, but my mom, she's still, uh, she's a runner and she's always been so, she's but like so she gives me some motivation to run to train so for me for her to see me running with the best uh athletes it's incredible she's just she's just there for me and and they are very proud of me all my family in Mexico are very proud of me were your parents always marathoners or when did they first get into things with running uh they start my dad was always a marathoner and when my uh when they got married um my mom started running and I think she started like at age 35 ish and then she started running marathons and she was very good she was uh, competitive on her uh, on her age category so she was doing and and yeah and then, and then that was me is, <laughs> your mom st- is, is your mom still running <laughs> she is she is I mean slow she's 66 so oh. yeah she's you know she runs one hour a day or something, but she's always pretty active. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. What do you hope to accomplish this weekend? What are some of your goals? Oh, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna get there, have fun, um, enjoy every moment of this adventure with the best athletes. It's gonna be tough because Harlem Hill, uh, the Harlem Hill uh, is very tough and Central Park Hills are pretty tough. So I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna suffer but it's going to be so worth it. (laughs) (laughs) Some suffering for a great war at the end. Anna, it's really nice to meet you. Congrats on everything and best luck in the race this weekend, right? Many thanks, uh, CBS New York, for having me here. Thanks for this opportunity. I'm looking forward to seeing you all this Saturday.